All right, so we are going to work uh, one of our police prospects, Jocko, today. Um, I'm gonna show you how we can use the e-collar also as a gas pedal and not just brake. So one of the things that we want Jocko to do um, is when he's presented with the opportunity to counter and punch in, um, we want him to seize that opportunity. So we're gonna use low level stims on an e-collar um, in conjunction with decoy work. So as we keep back pressure on Jocko, um, there's not gonna be any stim. Before we release back pressure, I'm gonna start stimming, tap, 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 release back pressure. Once he counters, the stim stops. Let me go back to back pressure and just rinse and repeat. So we'll show you once Jocko gets up on the table now. All right, so we have the E on Jocko right now. Uh, we're gonna start with him probably on like a level three. Um, and one of the things also that I'm gonna do is right before he gets his initial bite, I'm gonna tap, 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 and then feed him a bite. So we want this stim to be kind of an activator for him and pushing him into behaviors. I mean, this is one, especially when a dog really likes bite work, this is a really good way to, to get that e-collar to mean good things to him. All right, so you'll watch me. I'm gonna kind of hold the e-collar up so you can see what I'm doing with it. It's here. Before he gets his bite, I'm gonna tap, 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 bite. Now back pressure's on. There's no tapping, no e-collar stim right now. When I'm ready for him to counter, notice a ton of back pressure. When I'm ready for him to counter, he wants to counter. Tap, 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 tap. Boom, he counters. As he counters, that e-collar stim stops. So again, there's no e-collar stim right now. When I'm making the choice to release back pressure, okay, tap, 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 tap. Counter, it stops. So we're negatively reinforcing that countering behavior, right? And negative reinforcement means that we're creating a behavior in the dog. So tap, 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 tap. As he counters, it stops. So again, we'll show you that the e-collar is on a level three. Um, before he gets his initial bite, I'm going to give him a stim as well. Right here, I'm going to get close. Obviously, at the end of the run, we want a more active dog in this moment, but that's not what we're working on right now. So I'm here, before he gets a bite, stim, 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 stim. Cool. stim is released. And keep tension so he doesn't have the opportunity to counter. Then I'm going to stim, stim, stim. He counters, he gets picked. Stim, stim, stim. So I also wouldn't be doing this um, and like holding my arm up because that's going to become a part of the cue to him as well. So we'll try it with my stim down here. Stim, 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 counter, and release. Good job. Good man. Right. Ow, good man. Right. And that's how we use the e-collar um, to reinforce and create more countering behavior. Ciao, ciao.